yesterday we had a discussion at first about the rocket propulsion, you know? And I uh, have explained the thing, how the things are there in the propulsion of the rocket, how the mass of the rocket goes on increasing. So how? Uh, because of the exhaust from the burnt uh, gases. So when the fuel in the rocket will start burning, the mass of the fuel will decrease. I know that. The mass of the fuel plus mass of the rocket. That will be the total mass. So as the fuel will start working, the mass of the fuel, in the sense, mass of the rocket will go on. So Dm by dt can be taken as the rate of loss or rate of increase in the mass of the rocket. Yesterday I told you, so I will give you some formulas. Okay? So first formula is about. The four kilo gases are coming out. So first formula I know, so I told you I will give you number one. Thrust. It may be up thrust, it may be down thrust. 
no problem. Plus means perpendicular force. Okay. Plus means is a perpendicular force. Then what happens? As the rocket gives out the burnt gases, the down with velocity v dash, those gases will apply the force on the ground. They will apply the force on the ground so that the ground will give equal and opposite reaction to the rocket. That will be considered to be the thrust on the rocket, up thrust. Okay? So, number one, thrust on the rocket. Right now. Number one, thrust on the rocket.
for the use this. It is a point, it will be correct. The car will be correct. The initial speed is the final result. You want the U to the So initial speed is final speed for my time. Time my time. If it is going to be three for acceleration, it can be correct. The acceleration value. From the moment, it is the final speed. Once we go for the practice for any element for or keyboard diagram for any element. Oh, other zones are the SHM zone of the other. Other than each other, the velocity can be done. Okay, other than that. Okay, number three, yeah. Instantaneous velocity of the zone. Instantaneous velocity of the rocket. He must be correct. Instantaneous velocity of the rocket. We can set up the rabbit. We can set up. How we can get B. तुम्हारा displacement दिया, तो velocity क्या था? Yes, differential. अरे ऐसा होता है। Velocity दे रही है, displacement क्या होता है? You integrate. Now you are having acceleration, and you want instant in this velocity. So a is equal to b by dt. अरे ऐसा होता है। क्या था तुम्हारे से हम तो a is equal to b b by D S or D X, then so in here you are referring to A D X is equal to B D. So here you will get X. Just displacement. You can draw it. Suppose I will not go to that state. I will directly to A D T is equal to D D. Can I integrate? Can I solve? Okay. By doing that value, so if I go on integrating, don't do anything. Just see and help me. A is equal to D B by D T into the eyes. A D T is equal to D T. Integrating both sides. Now what I get? Integration A D T is equal to integration D T. Integration D T will be by instantaneous velocity. Very yes, sure. Integration of D T is V. So I get on the on this side will be V. And integration of A is V dash upon M. D M by D T minus G Arizona D T okay to so be equal to this okay so how, how to do that hmm. otherwise is there any another solution
ये लास्ट वर्ड लेंथ ऑफ फर्स्ट वर्ड इट इज द पॉइंट सो सिंपल तुम जो डॉक्यूमेंट में दिया फार्मूला इफ डेल्टा एल इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू एल बाय आर स्क्वायर सो फॉर गिवन टू सेट्स ऑफ वायर्स आई कैन राइट डेल्टा एल वन अपॉन डेल्टा एल टू इज इक्वल टू डायरेक्ट प्रोपोर्शन एल वन आर टू स्क्वायर अपॉन एल टू आर अरे सॉरी ये लास्ट में यूज करते हैं L1 
express volume, is it a unit? Pass, pass, I don't know time. Volume, unit and dimension, ah yes. Area into length, very nice, very good. So volume will be for A, L. Ah, area into length. So if it is area into length, then am I getting something here? A into Y I am getting. Ah, so somewhere can I adjust this in the form of density of the material? Means sometimes they will not give you some things out of this. Instead of that, they will give you density of the Then also you will be able to calculate that. Okay? So third formula I write is second formula. Someone like that. Okay. Nice someone. Beta M1 A A I to A I. A I multiply to divide to I will get some formula. So instead of that M upon A, what you will write? Rho. Even if it is 54. Okay. So write down. Delta L is equal to total. No problem. I am there to show you. See. M G L upon 2 A Y. 4 million in downside down. L million. Jala answer the multiple. L million multiple. L million multiple. L million multiple. What it becomes now? M G S square upon 2 by A L. Now, instead of M G upon A L, can I take rho? What is rho? I can write delta L to be equal to rho G L square upon y plus. This is very important. Easy idea. Don't start, don't be start on them. No, really, this, whatever we are giving you now, at least if you are reading that, keep in mind and try to solve the problem. Half work is done. Yesterday, I have explained you for yesterday about Wood's law. The 
ratio of stress upon strain is constant for given material and that is called as the modulus of elasticity. So of course for my wire the ratio of longitudinal stress upon longitudinal strain of course that will be y. That will be constant for a given material. So actually the graph should be straight line for a solve. Okay. But, but if the easy of the to take it, directly will be in your it does not happen in the practice. For some reason it happens. But for some reason it does not happen. So what actually happens at that, that we will see. And the reading is behavior of the wire under increasing load. Right on. Behavior of wire. Under increasing load, Like that. So, how it is varying at every state? 
which model is the uh, I is the quarter group. Each model has already studied and the conclusions are made. So roughly, I can give you an idea. The graph looks Graph looks like this. This one, suppose I have some row connected and I got some extension. Okay. I calculated, I made it a table. Simple question is here. You can let the stress, you can let the stress, row, and take both the chart. I will start with that map. So for the first row, stress, stress, I took the map. So what, what happens actually? At first, somewhere I will get the points like that, I will get a straight line passing through full. So till some value of string, I get that stress is proportional to string. It is under <coughs> elastic limit. It is called, uh, it is called the elastic limit. Okay. Now, actually, what should happen? I, I do have many rows. Suppose, so I am having each row to be of 10 kg. Or 1 kg. I have connected 1 kg. So, load is there. Why is it extension 10 kg? Practically, so ideally, it is expected that when I will unload, if I will unload, it is expected that I get that delta should become zero and wire must regain its position and result. If delta is zero, then it will zero. Correct. So after unloading, if the strain is becoming zero, then my material is perfectly under elastic limit. And it is perfectly okay to put so. Zatara we try to learn by going this increasing strain. As the strain increases, ha, so asa increase only, asa utno. It depends on the value of part. Slope will depend on the value of part, but it will not increase like that exponential. No, it will increase in the strain. Very good. Alright, so now that is loading. Load that again. But what happens? For a long time, if you go for loading the wire, practically, the, practically, that wire is made up of some atoms, molecules, and all. Arrest. All the molecules. So sometimes, what happens? After some value of load, if you start unloading, okay, then. So, I started with 1, 2, as a second, yes, 3, 4, 5. I am having 10, the other uh, strain will be 10. So, it is expected that if I decrease the load, then the strain should also decrease. Okay, then, suppose at this point, I stopped my loading and I started unloading. Then, graph should come like this only, right? Yes. Yeah, unloading up a stress, you know, okay. then what happens? I get stress same. Why? Because unloading loading it, it depends on me f upon a. But if I calculate the strain, means delta upon a. That is not exactly of the prior. So here the difference comes. Here the difference comes. And somewhere I have after total unloading, still I have some strain which permanently remains in the work. Getting your point? After unloading it totally, still some strain remains the what? What it is? It can be called as? It can be called as permanent deformation. So I have to find the point till which if I start unloading, then why will perfectly retain its original directions? So that will be the elastic limit, to correct elastic limit, yes or no? Yes. Beyond that if I go, then, and it is 
systems. Okay, it means for some patch, for some value of stress and some value of strain. Stress when they show is constant. Okay. After some value, it is observed that there is a permanent strain in the wire. So, what is the total value? Ah, one meter to wire will be. Ah, I take the length of the wire one point zero two. Now, still I will go 
to 100 is it not? Uh, one divided by 100 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. So, that strain must be less than 0 0.1. This is region O. Oh, it is under hooks law. It is over in hooks. Okay? Region hooks law. Region AB. Yes. 
Thank you. 